Oh, that's a problem. Oh, man. Yeah, the back end just got away from us. Hello and welcome to Beam NG Drive. I'm your host David Inark and today we're taking a suggestion from RC Kids and that is to do a little bit of, whoa, hydroplaning. <laughs> I was not expecting a roll, I was just going for the hydroplane. Holy smokes. Okay, um... Let's reset and try that again. So when you're hydroplaning, um, be careful. Once again, don't slam on your brakes because that'll get you going. Nope. Wow, that is a very tippy truck. Holy cow. I was not really expecting that at all. I thought we would just kind of swerve back and forth a little bit. Uh, I wasn't expecting the first vehicle out of the gate to go rolling across the, <laughs> across the uh, hydroplane area. Wow. Okay. So let's try this vehicle here and see. There we go. We get some hydroplaning. Whoa. All right. We come to a nice peaceful rest. All right, we're going to try this again. So the idea is to get enough water under the tire so that you kind of lose control, kind of like this. And then, of course, the idea is to recover. Whoa, 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 whoa hey, where are you going? <laughs> to recover before you crash into stuff, which, of course, at the ETK experience, they've got plenty of room um, surrounding the various environments so that... Ideally, you don't crash your vehicle, but as we saw in the Roma, it can still happen. Oh, there we go. Oh, spinning around. Oh. Okay, let's just stop. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, now, if you've never hydroplaned in a car before, it can definitely be a scary experience. Um, but if you ever do start to lose control, ideally you tap the brakes and you want to steer in the direction that you would like to be going once your car hits pavement. Again, though, the idea is to let go of the gas. You can lightly apply the brakes. Definitely don't want to slam the brakes. Uh, in fact, let's take a look at that. Uh, if I can get this hydroplaning and then we'll just uh, I'll immediately slam on the brakes. That was not good. All right, well, I, I, I messed that one up. So I, <laughs> I started swaying back and forth long before I even hit the water. I, I don't know what I was doing there. All right, so we're starting to hydroplane. We put the brakes on, and you can see that applying the brakes just simply makes you spin out, which in an open course like this, you're fine. But on a road where you've got two lanes of traffic, that could be a problem. In fact, why don't we do that? So now we've got some vehicles in the way. This is a more realistic, real life type situation. So again, if we go on here, we start hydroplaning, put the brakes on. All right, well, as it turns out, we did okay in avoiding everyone. So that's not what we're here for. <laughs> we're, we're here for the destruction, right? We wanna see what happens when you just do something stupid. Oh. And there we go. Just a couple of light little taps. But that person's not happy with us. Why is the burn side even moving? Did I hit the burn side? I don't remember hitting the burn side. That's kind of weird. Get back to where you belong. Back to where you once belonged. All right, here we go. I'm going to try this again. Whoa! Oh, well, that time <laughs> hurt. Well, that definitely is a problem. Oh, look at there. And a little love tap on the backside just to, <laughs> just to remind us that we're the ones that crashed into him, right? I'm just afraid that the tires on this vehicle are going to be uh, too good. And it will actually prevent the, uh... well, no. <laughs> Oh. 
Oh, there goes the burn side. Where's my, where's my mouse? There we go. Oh. Stop. Oh, man. We tore up that car pretty good. In the meantime, the van took a hit. Of course, it's got the, uh, the uh, protector on the front there. The bush runner or the cow pusher or whatever you want to call it. But we definitely dinged up the uh, front of the van there. Woo! All right. So I have not looked. I think it'd be very cool if they had kind of a, a, a bad tire mod, you know, like if they had a, whoa. oh, that's a problem. Oh man. Yeah. The back end just got away from us. Oh, look at the poor burn side. Hmm. Look at that. Oops. Sorry, Ronky. Oh. Woof. Mm. Wrong place, the wrong time, buddy. Sorry about that. In the meantime, our truck also took a bit of a hit as well. Although, certainly not anywhere near as damaged as the burn side. Well, yeah, look at the... The, uh... Oh, sorry. There we go. The bed of the truck... This side here, a little dinged up. Not too, not too bad though, really. Woo! <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, it'd be cool if there was a tire mod where the tires weren't uh, perfect tires. You know, they were balding. They had a certain amount of whoa. <clears throat> the poor Burnside is getting the brunt of this, man. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Poor Burnside. Woo. Oh, okay. So I'll tell you what we're going to do is uh, let's reset this. Let's clear out everybody else. Remove others up here at the top. That takes away all the other vehicles. Uh, and so now we can do something like grab a bull eyed. Um, I don't know. How about a GTR? Sure, why not? That way, if you had some bald or balding tires, that would be cool. Or I guess, a, I guess theoretically, if that weren't a thing, you could make racing slicks. Ah, and again, man, putting on the brakes, spinning out of control. Now, I will tell you, I panicked and started steering. So I want to see, you know, where are you going? What are you doing? You're wigging out before you can get on the water. Yes, if I just let go of the steering, yeah, that's not as bad. But that's the problem. Look there, I'm slipping, man. We're out of here. Oh, not so much. That's the problem, though. When uh, you start to hydroplane, um, you start to freak out and panic. Put on the brakes and whoa, there we go. Uh, Bun out. But we recovered and we just go on our merry little way. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> I spin out worse on dry pavement than I do on the uh, actual uh, hydroplane track. Now there's another hydroplane track over here. Whoa. So let me get out of the car a minute. Look at here. Let's see what we can do with this one. Almost like a drifting zone. Very cool. Alright, one more time. Let's hop the bolide in here. And put the brakes on. Oh. There we go. But again, uh, doesn't take a lot of water to get up underneath those tires and spin yourself out of control. See, I actually drive better. Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> uh, how about, uh, let's try the SBR4. Let's see what it can do if we throw it at the <coughs> hydroplane track. Oh, man. This is... Stop. Oh. 
See, it just gets a little bit of water between the tires and the road, and uh, you, you lose your grip. All right, so if we turn off electronic stability, um, and for the sake of argument, I'm going to leave the anti-lock brakes on, um, just because most modern vehicles would have that anyway, so that's not a problem, but... Um, you know, in certain vehicles, uh, the electronic stability is definitely an issue. Wow, that makes a huge difference. Holy cow. We turn off electronic stability, and this car is all over the place. Look at that. I, woof. Yeah, it is much harder to control on the water. Yep, there you go. So you definitely want to watch out for that. And of course, um, you can also grab an older vehicle, let's say a Barstow. Um, wait, did I do the track sport? I did this, right? I can't remember now. <laughs> I don't know what I've done. I have no idea. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, we'll take a drive in it anyway and we'll see. So this is an old school rear wheel drive and that will also make a big difference in the way the car performs when hydroplaning and uh, you know again a big part of hydroplaning is first of all trying not to panic and then um, once you start to slide out of control let go of the gas tap the brakes try to point your car in the direction you're wanting it to go uh, actually I guess I stalled it why am I there we go I stalled my engine. Wow, who knew? Oh, very cool. Oop, sorry, I'm, hit, I'm hitting V for whatever crazy reason. I'm trying to start and stop my car. Oh, whoa. Of course, we have the drift slash donut hole. There we go, we're doing donuts. Yeah. Anybody getting sick? Of course you are. Oh, oh, I did not mean to go around again. Don't oversteer. Oh, well, we'll just use the guardrail to help us. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> ah, that's not good. Nothing like ruining a classic car. Cool stuff, man. <laughs> oh, shoot. Here we go. Start hydroplaning. Put the brakes on and then aim whoa, in the general direction you want to go. I laid down a little too much gas, but we recovered and then we can just go all about our merry way after a brief scary moment of hydroplaning down the road. All right, well, there you go. That's a little bit of hydroplaning by request from RC Kids. Feel free to leave any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories down in the comment section below. And uh, especially to uh, RC Kids, if this is not exactly what you had in mind, let me know and we'll uh, try again. But if this is what you were looking for, whew, there we go. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Awesome stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time on BMG Drive.